and welcome back to Nikki Talks Trailers. I'm Nikki Limo, and we have some trailers to talk. Surprise! Today we're talking Colossal, King Arthur, Dean, and the house. Let's talk some trailers. The links to the full trailers are always in the description if you ever want to check them out. Let's get started. First up, we got King Arthur. Can I just say that I am so, so, so excited that they're finally making a prequel for that movie, Kid in King Arthur's Court, starring Thomas Ian Nicholas? I've been waiting my whole childhood for that. This is kind of like a live action version of Sword in the Stone, but with a lot less kooky wizards, which is mildly disappointing. Also, the villain in this trailer can float fire orbs in his hand, and people can jump off of massive cliffs into the water and be totally fine. So I guess what I'm saying is if you pull a sword out of a stone, the rules of physics don't apply to you anymore. Next up we have Colossal. Anne Hathaway plays an emotional wreck in this movie, but you probably already knew that. It's kind of her thing. It's the other part of the story that's an absolute mind trip. What we can get from this trailer is that apparently she can control an actual Godzilla monster that's completely decimating South Korea with her mind and body. Look, I get it. A lot of us have been broken emotional before, okay? But that doesn't mean you just go around completely destroying a city telepathically through a giant monster. It's not cool, Anne Hathaway. Next up, we have Dean. In this trailer, we get to see a guy wearing Google Glass for a second, so I'm guessing this is a period piece set in 2013. Comedian Dimitri Martin plays a guy named Dean in this movie, and Dean is very sad because his mom just died. But also, he might be falling in love but he's very sad, and his dad might be falling in love. But he's also very sad. They're both sad because the mom died, so it's very sad. And lastly, we have our trailer of the week, The House. In this trailer, we get a couple who has trouble paying for their kids' college tuition, so they turn their house into an illegal Vegas-style casino. The thing is, though, even though this couple doesn't have any money, they still somehow have a gigantic house capable of being turned into a casino. Hey, here's an idea. Maybe just don't have a $1.2 million HGTV dream house. And then you could, I don't know, afford to send your kid to college. If we went down that route though, financial aid or sending your kid to a community college first would probably be my next two go-tos. But I get it, filling out a FAFSA form and committing to 20 years of student debt isn't that funny for a movie. Which brings us to my favorite segment, Caption This. I asked you guys to caption this screenshot of the house on Twitter, and here's what you said. It's horrifying, it's beautiful, I'm just screaming. Oh my God, it's a Pikachu. When you bring home KFC. Oh my God, our house is a Pokestop. The McRib is back. Oh my God, why is my hand going through Will's chest right now? Every final episode of The Bachelor ever. Well, that's all we have for this week's episode of Nikki Talks Trailers. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Also, follow me on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear from anybody, ever. I'm very lonely. At Nikki Limo, do it. I'll see you next time.